This is Wrestle Theme Reviews with Corn Shack, Kiriyama, and File 91E. Welcome everyone to another episode of Wrestle Theme Reviews. I'm Corn Shack. I'm Kira. And I'm File 91 e This week, like every week, take three things in the world of professional wrestling, give them a thumbs up, thumbs down, or somewhere in yeah. there. Anyway. Yeah, it's actually this. It's not this. It's this. Just with the way the logo goes, but uh, yeah. So uh, WrestleMania happened. It was very good. It was. Uh, it was the best WrestleMania ever. I really enjoyed the theme song. There was some amazing performances by said wrestler, and John Cena showing up and doing something was cool. We didn't film this before <laughs> WrestleMania. Just, I, hope it was I hope it was good. <laughs> I hope so too. John All Cena right. did a thing. <laughs> let's just move right on. We're just gonna go into yeah, it. Yeah, let's move right on. <laughs> Johnson's WWF theme. I'm at Johnson. I think his only real theme, unless you go into like when he was part of Nation and stuff. But I think that was yeah, like no, this is his, his theme. theme. His theme, it's that. you know, the Pro River Jam, something like that. Yeah, that's what it's something like that. This is on yeah. album two. Ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, music which I used to listen to quite a lot. Very as good. A kid. <laughs> Let me guess, you really liked Hakushi's theme. That was on album one. No, it was two. No, it was on one. It was definitely two. It was one, because one also yeah, has yeah. the uh, Be My Baby Tonight, uh, it has Hakushi, it has Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, uh, Graveyard Symphony, um, King Mabel. We're gonna, we're gonna have, we're gonna have. I'm telling you, album two we are gonna had that, have that weird Bret Hart like lyric vert, like that weird lyric Bret Hart song yeah, was on was album weird. two. Austin's that. theme, but it had the quotes in it. Yeah. Uh, Mankind's Mankind. theme, intro and outro. Uh, so my, but anyway, we're getting off and we're getting off topic about Johnson. 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 We're going to argue about this when that when this thing goes off. You can put it in the comments. Actually, we probably already know by now. But yeah, pretty much. But, but uh, anyway, Ahmed Johnson. He was a he was a good wrestler. De a very good he upper a, mid. -card. He had a potential. He was a good looking talent. Is a big guy. Yes. Who, who was throwing was people imposing. around? He was. Like, he got in the ring. You're like he's gonna like, kill somebody. He was kind of like Titus O'Neil. I mean, and like, Titus O'Neil is way more Kurt charismatic and a, and I think a better can, wrestler. A much better wrestler. Uh, Ahmed Johnson could never talk. Nope. He, like you could, but well, you just couldn't understand. Yeah. He could not cut a promo really. Um, Listening to his, uh, his, his way, shoot interviews way is amazing. Too, oh yeah, he, he way too stiff. Um, and he had the 75 knee pads because they didn't protect him because no, he blew his knees his down every knees four seconds. Gone. Um, this was a guy who I really feel like WB really wanted to kind of make a huge star, and then they realized that unfortunately promo work was not there. He got injured after injury after injury, yep. and that was it. It just kind of ended. But I, I, I'll never forget him. Was it Shawn Michaels? He power bombed through the uh, announce table and and like the. Because that was back when the announce tables had the monitors that went like this. Yeah, the, the the whole, yeah. To me, that's like the best. Because not only do you get hit on the announce table, you get monitors crushing on you. And one of my favorite moments from Ahmed Johnson was two things. One, his feud with Goldust. When Goldust <laughs> gave him CPR and like kissed him. <laughs> oh, and he yeah. Flipped out. That was, and then shock him Saturday night. When he oh did God. the pro where plugs the D'Lo Brown before D'Lo Brown was even like an on like he was part of the nation but he was that yeah, he was still member. training he was still training yeah, yeah. he pro where plunged him on top of the car outside of the oh. car. that was I was like oh, that was awesome because shotgun Saturday night I was like this yeah. is so amazing but it was such a crap he had show. great yeah. matches and or some great matches he had some, some great moments. matches with great talent uh, but he uh, he just he, he he was never the big thing now this theme though I like this I like theme. This theme it's. Uh, 
not the best, uh, but it, 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 it's, it suits him. As soon as you hear it, you're like, ah, shit, here comes yeah. Ahmed Johnson. Yeah. Someone's about to get their ass whipped. Is there like, oh, shit, here comes Ahmed Or, oh, shit, here comes Ahmed Johnson. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, here comes Ahmed. <laughs> so what do you give it? What do you uh, give thumbs it? up, thumbs up. I want to give it, I wanna give it sideways. It yeah. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's, nah. not, it's not the worst thing by... No, 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 no definitely not. It's going to be Beaver Cleaver. Okay. Yeah. So let me hit this. <laughs> go ahead. We'll go right. Sure. Hold on to number two. And that was Drew Galloway's second Impact Wrestling theme, TNA, uh, Ghosts in Us by Dale Oliver. They're not uh, sold yet? Hmm? What? They're not, they're not they haven't sold closed yet? yet? No. No, they're still on I know they're up for sale for something or whatever. I, who knows? We should buy it. So yeah, happens. let's buy This TNA. is another <laughs> great example of Dale Oliver's TNA themes. Look, I like Dale Oliver because I actually, I'm the only one of us who likes country music at all. No. And Dale Oliver used to be in one of my favorite country bands from the 90s. What? Uh, Blackhawk. He was the guitarist in Blackhawk. Los Lobos. Actually, I really, but anyway, regardless, TNA themes are terrible. Yes. They're terrible. Yes. Like They're the not that good. They match the product. I don't think this one was that bad. This one isn't like the worst by but any. Oh, you know, definitely. They, but they're all overall, overall. Overall, the general consensus is m very few of Dale Oliver's themes from TNA are like. No, that's actually not bad. Yeah. This one, you're like, it's okay. Yeah, like, that's <laughs> not... Mm. Yeah. But Drew, but, Drew yeah, Galloway... Drew Galloway is a, a misused talent. He's great. I think he's he's, he's one he of the best the chosen wrestlers. One. <laughs> well, he was I think chosen he got one. Well, he was chosen one. I think he rubbed people the wrong way. I think he came in with a... Uh, you know, like a chip on his shoulder in WWE. They were gonna push him as the chosen one immediately. It was another Vince McMahon kind of handpicked talent. Yeah, just like and once, once Vince gets bored, that talent's gone. Uh, that's what just happens when Vince picks and likes a talent. Yeah, nothing so, takes off immediately the way yeah, he wants it, to. Yeah, it's like I mean, look at just we can do that example of Tyler Breeze. While well, that was a Triple H guy. Vince was like, okay, let's run with it. We're going to sell selfie sticks, and we're going to do this and this and this. And it takes more than a day to get somebody over. And once yeah. he didn't get over right away, he gave up. And that's Nobody what happened with Drew Galloway. And Nobody that's why and that's why Drew Galloway faded into obscurity on the SmackDown roster and ended up with a three-man band. And now, But no, but he went back to ICW in... Um Yes, in, in Europe, killed that because he's having. I, so he was having some blowout matches there, yes. and then he went. You know, he obviously signed because TNA offered him money. Signed with TNA, he's now the champion, and he's still working. And he's some, working he's with uh, Matt working, Hardy right now, and he's still working some indie stuff because TNA's guy still works some indie no, stuff. He's so good. I, he's I, done I, some stuff in Evolve. He's, he's making some. He's, he's so, making. He, we, I, it wouldn't shock me if he comes if back. We don't see him later as this new kind of harder edged Drew Galloway. You know, uh, so I'm. I'm He's you know. primed to return one day at NXT. Now, this theme individually, what do you think of it? I'm gonna give it this because it's not the worst theme. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> yeah, universal. The, 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 the yeah. music's good. The lyrics are. God the lyrics awful. are Dale Oliver lyrics. Yeah. Hey, he's gonna rise from the gallows because yeah. Drew Galloway. Yeah. So, anyway. all right, that's going to bring us to this week's rest hold. Woo! There you go. Fant now you have a Kiriyama's collection. You have been on a spending <laughs> spree, sir. To tell you My the spending truth, spree, thankfully not expensive. Yeah. What did you? What, what do you have? I for think us today? totally everything that I have bought so far. For I have three new items, but we're only going to show one now. I think I've spent under twenty dollars for all three. Like individually, or just total. Wow. In Even fact, this in special fact, thing. In fact, that one item that you want to do an unboxing for was only a dollar plus shipping. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be this. Uh, uh, awesome. I think I paid about five dollars total with shipping. 
All right, and is this as good or better than the sweating? Um, I uh, like the sweating on? one actually more, I think, but this is pretty. I wish pretty this good. one sweated. I wish. Uh, what is it? Show it. Show it. Oh, let's get this. Oh, God. Let's stop. Let's, let's, uh, well, they made a series called Stomp for WWE. This what does is Stomp mean? Uh, it, it, superstars. Something, I don't know. Tactical operation, blah, blah, something like that. Special tactical operation military police. There you go. And this is Sable. In space. space. This is Series Sable 3. Sable in space. Yes. I want to get more That's of these. Really I want to get more of them all. In space. Her, her, <laughs> her, she's not her, married. Her expression is just priceless. Show this. You gotta show it to the people. <laughs> I will do my best. It's like she just find something in the ass. <laughs> well, it's probably Brock Lesnar. It was probably Vince McMahon. Oh, uh, well, that too. <laughs> You can kind of get a good shot of these, but basically yeah. they decided that WWE figures needed like a GI Joe yeah, type G. I. of Joe. figure set. They started so, off with like special agent tactical forces, and then they went to underwater, yes. and then they went to space. So she has like a special like leg attachment. Yeah, that's her other boot. She has a Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sigh. A whip, obviously, because she is so yep. freaking sable. And then she obviously has the boob chest plate. Of for course. her bodacious boobage. My so, favorite thing is though, with these figures, you can combine like an action set with all the male ones, but Sable can't yeah. combine with any of the ones yeah. that are also. Oh, are you telling me I can't put that on like Jeff Jarrett? <laughs> or Legion of Doom now, now, 2000? Now, now, I'm not saying WWF or WWE, whatever at the time, was stupid, but space figures without a space helmet is a problem. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, no, I want to cover that face up. <laughs> yeah, this is this is terrible. What, so, what other figures do they got? They got Sable, Kane, Mark Marrow, yeah. all of LOD 2000, and sure enough, Kane and Undertaker. No, they don't have Sunny though. No, no, because Sunny was that. pretty much yeah. probably getting the boot at this point. I'm also looking at these Superstars Six. You got Mark Marrow, Jeff Jarrett, Triple H, Mark Henry, Owen Hart. I love that Mark. That, that Mark Henry figure was awesome. So I plan on like getting. I plan on getting that. other from the series, probably from <sighs> Stomp Two and Stomp One. Please, Jesus, this is six. So that means no, well, this three. Is this is three. So there's two. Oh other no, sets. no, no, no. The second set. The Owen Hart figure is my next one. Oh God, definitely. Yeah, and the number wait. one in series one. I need the theme we did earlier. Ahmed Johnson. Ahmed Johnson. It's a horrible. Figure. It is the worst figure I think I've ever seen in my life. We need it. We need to add this. So we can put it up on yeah. the wall. Yeah, it'll so. go up on the wall. Anyway, Sable Stomp Series yeah. Three. Check it out now, kids on yeah. eBay. Yeah. Ugh. You can get her cheap. Yeah. The rest of them are cheap. <laughs> Sable comes cheap. Yeah. yeah just no surprise, surprise there. We'll just leave her here for yeah. now. Yeah. All right. Hit the button. Somebody hit the button. Was Nakamura's theme, The Rising Sun, from his NXT debut. Oh my god. That he theme. kicked the oh man. dog mess out of freaking yes, yes. Uh, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is, I think, the oh only man. one who could actually take it. Yeah. I think that's why Sami Zayn was put in the match. They had already wrestled before. He knew, yeah. they knew like, yeah. what each other could do. Oh uh, man, that man can... He is this, so charismatic. It's on. Oh, yeah. I've been I, for years. WWE has slowly picked up a few Japanese guys here and there, and they've always been mismanaged. But there has never been a guy who I've wanted WWE to bring in more because I think he can fit in with the North American audience oh, yeah. mindset because of how charismatic he oh, is. Oh yeah, they were he, going nuts for him. It, it's insane watching him work. Just it his is. mannerisms. Like yes. what is at like what it like? Because this was honestly, I swear to God, the first the first time I really oh, yeah. sat down and watched him. Like I've seen clips. Oh, you know, like you go on Reddit. 
He's like, going to squared circle. Yeah. There's he's all this stuff, all the matches. I'm like, ah, that's cool. Like, like was discussed earlier, somebody said he's a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character. He's I mean, got those poses and the mannerisms of the straight out, yeah, straight out, like straight out of the anime. What is he doing? But it, it's adds it's to everything. It's just getting into your head. Like you think, you, like you totally, do, you know, disarm. He's not the best looking dude in no, the world. No, but then he kicks you in the face. And it doesn't yeah. matter. Right? Knees, he's knees, knees every times. Yeah. He's got like eight knees. And yeah, like, <laughs> he comes anywhere. You know, he puts in the mouthpiece. You're like, what's what is this guy doing? Yeah. And then he kicks you in the face. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sweet uh, mother of holy Jesus. Look, now, look, I, they're not. I don't think he's going to do as much. Well, it, well, it depends on who he's facing, but he's not going to do as much of the strong style in WWE because that's not necessarily a WWE thing. Yeah. But he's going to bring it in there because, yeah. like he said in post match, I'm not sure if you saw the post match interview with him from no, Naki. I, I, I he yet. said, strong style has arrived. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. I'm I'm ready. I'm, yes. ready. I'm ready for this. Well, the good yep. thing with NXT is these. Oh, there's so much great talent there, and yes. they have a lot of these. And I mean, if we get to see him in NXT wrestle a lot of the other I guys, I want to see him and Joe. Like him and Joe. He's going to kill each other. Aries can take it. Balor can take it. I mean, Balor and him. Have, oh, like, it's like man. so. There's a lot of guys there that can already do great matches with him, and he's going to be mostly on NXT. Rick Swan. He, we're going to be able to enjoy it. The okay, wrestling. Smart for whatever you want. Then he call comes it. to WWE and can only you know kick people. I already saw bit. a meme of like Vince watching the monitor of the match. And he's like, I got a great sushi chef gimmick. I'm about to give it. Oh god. Yeah, like, oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's you know. You know so, that's what's going to happen. I want to see Nakamura versus Rick Swan. So that be that's gonna be that would be good. That would be great. Rick so, Swan. Now wait, you had. Fine. Like you were watching NXT in a really loud, clouded, uh, really loud. Okay, this is uh, how bad I wanted thing. to see this NXT thing. So I went and I was having a great time at, at a, club. a club, at a nightclub, and he couldn't I was, listen to this. Theme. I couldn't listen to the theme until now, and I, I just I heard it. What is your and the reaction? That it was, was just like, oh my god, this theme is amazing. This is one of my favorite themes WWE has done in a very yes. very long time. Yes. So no, this is a awesome. What are you giving it? What are you giving oh, it? Like double thumbs up, like. <laughs> Definitely. As high up as we can go. Like, I'm gonna try to make my thumbs up logo glow or like, yeah. something. Like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I want my thumbs to have. Extra this is out of Final like, Fantasy. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, it, like, is. it is. It is. And his entrance <laughs> is out of Final Fantasy. Yeah. It's crazy. Cool. <laughs> so this is awesome. I love. I love this thing. Nakamura. And Nakamura is awesome. And everything. It, it, NXT Takeover was phenomenal. Yes. Great. Oh, was great. Yeah. So. Anyway, that will wrap up this episode of Russell Theme Reviews. I'm Corn Shack. I'm Kira. Now I'm following on to one E. Thank you for watching. Of course. We hope you enjoy.